So one of the things I'm very serious about on this channel is that if you're a man looking for a relationship with a woman, you should be interviewing her to see if she'll make a good wife. And then that's the whole point of the relationship. And if it's not looking for a wife, there's no point in being in that relationship. Which led to the statement of, so what, I'm supposed to take this Tatiana who has a bunch of children, raise her and take care of her kids so she can go out and cheat on me? So firstly, I think that's the wrong question to be asking. But I'm gonna address this topic today. So let's get at it. Welcome to the Legacy Gentleman channel. If you're first time tuning in, on this channel, we talk about the value, skills, and works that'll be admired and desired a thousand years from now. If you can guess from the intro, today I'm gonna to be talking about setting standards. How men we should be setting standards in our dating and that we should be dating with a purpose of looking for a wife. And if you're not looking for a wife, then you should be working on yourself to be better at earn more and get yourself in line with God's purpose for your life. So if you haven't thought about this, who you date says a whole lot about who you are, how you see yourself, what kind of respectable person you are, and really what you want your children to be like, and what do you think is the legacy that you're actually gonna be building. So how do you see yourself is the first thing that you have to ask yourself before you even start thinking about a relationship. What is your value? What do you say to people as you go out? Are you cool? Are you hot? Are you handsome? Are you a man's man? Are you so desperate? and so needy for attention that any woman who gives you attention, you're gonna run after? Are you someone who says, I know what my value is, I like me, I'm building myself up to be something so the only people I'm gonna let into my life are people who have the same goals, who have the same way of carrying themselves? Or are you someone who's like, I'm controlled by my emotions and my lust and my passion, and I'm gonna just go after everything that wiggles and jiggles? You're gonna have to decide what your value is. Look, I understand that there's this red pill idea that women are hoes because men are hole makers. That's a worldview I just don't adhere to. I believe that God made us all in his image. And so that when you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. And if you're laying down with dogs, you got fleas. If you're with somebody who's denigrating your, themselves, you are denigrating yourself every time you're with them. And in general, you're living beneath that purpose that God has for your life. So the first thing you need to do is understand that everybody that you interact with and get intimate with is a reflection on yourself. Whether you see it or not, or understand it or not, you're bringing yourself down to that level of that person. Think deep down, we all know that. In every relationship, you're bringing someone up, someone's bringing you up, or you both are going down. With that understanding, that brings us to the next point is that you have to have standards. Those values should firstly align with the fact that you are a Christian, that Christ died for your sins and he is your redeemer and you're supposed to live redeemed and help other people live redeemed. That's a bridge too far for people. Well, look, they should align with at least what your core values are and amongst them should be self-respect and self-esteem. You should get it back from the fact that if no one else on earth loves you, that there is a God who made you in his image and he loves you. Wherever you find that from, if you can't go the Christian route, you need to understand that you have self-respect and self-value. All of your relationships should be from the perspective that there is a value of self-respect I have and that every relationship and every interaction has to uphold to that level or that person shouldn't be in my life. That means you're gonna set some boundaries. You're gonna set some boundaries on how people will talk to you. You'll set some boundaries on what you'll let people do to you. You'll set some boundaries on how you will let people even talk around you. But the way you treat them is based on who you are. See, I'm a respectable person. So I'm gonna treat you with respect. Or disrespecting me as a man, I will walk away and not have any more contact with you. And that's how you have to be as a person setting standards in a relationship. And I would not date someone who I had such little respect for that I felt like I could talk to them in a demeaning way and think it's okay. Now look, I understand that men are men and women are women. And sometimes 
you yell at your guy friends and you know not to take it to a certain level because once you get to a certain level, it has to be a fight. And sometimes women aren't used to that kind of, hey, where to stop, and sometimes they go over the line. Men, you have to establish what that line is and you need to uphold it whether you quote unquote lover, like her, thought she was a good marriage material, or this is a first date. Because there's a way that I talk to people that I expect to be reciprocated. And it's really enforcing standards. There's a behavior that's acceptable and behavior that's not acceptable. When you see behavior that's not acceptable, you need to correct it. You need to correct it as a man. You need to correct it within your children because we're fostering respect for each other. If you walk around disrespecting people, a lot of us, you're putting yourself in danger of being hurt by somebody who feels like they're being disrespected because you don't know how close somebody is to snapping. You're showing yourself as someone who's not deserving of respect by showing disrespect to other people. When it happens to you, you need to correct it. When somebody you're with is disrespectful to a waiter or server or hired help, you need to correct that because that's showing a negative light on you and you're letting them do this behavior that's gonna be a problem to you one day. So from time to time in relationships, there's tests. You're gonna to have to decide if she's testing you because she does not respect you or testing you to validate that you're the man who deserves the respect she thinks you deserve. Set these standards of behavior that you expect and that you give out and you would hold to them all the time. When you set these standards and it's actually who you are, it's normal to receive it, it's normal to respect it, it's normal to reject it when it doesn't happen. What this comes down to is you understanding yourself and being assertive. You're gonna to have to assert the standards you want, you're gonna to have to bend the world around to your will and insist that what you know is right happen. Like there are some time-tested standards that are true. You should be treated with respect. You should be someone who's appreciated for the work you do. You should be someone who word can be counted on. You should be someone who should not feel bad for having standards. I know that 20 year old me and 50 year old me, basically two different people, right? I know that I still am demanding to treat people the same. I still demand that I'm treated the same, but look, there's some uh, stuff in the middle that have changed for me. It's traditionally called grace. You are going to give people grace. You don't let people run over you. Don't let people cheat you. Don't let people lie to you. But you also understand that there is grace out there that we need to show people. Men, we have to set standards. We have to set standards for who we're gonna let into our life. We have to understand why we're letting them into our life. And then we have to understand that everybody shouldn't be in our lives. As this video started, you should treat women with respect. Even ones who don't act like they know they should have respect. You should be that man that everyone looks to and say, this will be a good husband and a good father, regardless of the women around you, because you have standards based off your self-respect and how you see yourself. Let me know what you think about that in the comment channels. Did I miss something? Does this make sense? Is this a good argument on how you should set standards and when you should and shouldn't date someone? I wanna thank you for stopping by the Legacy Gentleman channel. Please like and subscribe until next time. Go be legendary.